how can you play a significant role in AI based transformation without becoming a technical expert? We've all been affected by the pandemic shutdown, giving us time to pause and reflect. There will be industry shifts, more people craving for social interactions, more technology driven automated processes, changing travel patterns, we're not going anywhere more work from home, lifestyle changes, more online education, 90% of which we don't even complete, becoming better cooks, and more people with bad haircuts. Career-wise, there's gonna be a new normal, and we gotta adjust to that. Some companies are closing down, but others are finding time to start on new digital transformations and be ready when things settle down. AI or artificial intelligence will be an important part of that transformation. I get a lot of questions from senior leaders in Fortune 500 organizations on how they can start on a machine learning journey and what courses they should take and how to get familiar with the subject. Some even want to know what programming language to learn, like Python or R. Usually, my advice is don't do it, at least not in the way you think you should. In this context, how do you position yourself at a competitive advantage now, as well as in the future, without studying too much about AI technologies in detail? That's the topic of this video. So my advice to executives and leaders is this, don't compete with the 20 and 30 year olds that have all the time and energy to learn about data, to spend hours programming and taking classes. Here's what you have, you have experience. You've tried many things before to know what works and what doesn't. Stuff that they don't teach you in school. Everybody and their dog seems to be taking machine learning and data science classes. But that's a very small part of the digital transformation. The one that I show in red. I call it the red ocean. Look at the blue part. That's what I call the blue ocean. Don't compete in the red ocean. That's too crowded. There's so much more to be done in the blue ocean. That's where AI transformation really takes place. There's something called the AI paradox, which means that small AI projects have great success, but many large ones often fail. We need people who can understand and manage large scale transformations, thinking about business models, technologies like AI and change management, how to reskill people and develop a growth mindset, making processes and systems better. If that's the direction, then you should understand AI conceptually, but you don't have to necessarily write Python code to program a deep neural network. So that's why this video, to give you some ideas on where you can position yourself in this AI space. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified of new videos on AI and architecture and professional development, just like the one I share right now that I publish every other week. So here's the deal. You are a knowledge worker. You want to make reasonable money to live comfortably, be happy with your career, have time for your family, contribute to the community, and have some time to pursue your own hobbies. There are many roles that you might fit into. Each one is different and each one of us is different and we have different resources and constraints to think about. So we have to figure out the answers for ourselves. For example, I have an elderly parent to take care of, and I don't want to take up a role that requires me to travel a lot. There are many types of careers. You could be an employee, a contractor, a management consultant, a freelancer, or an entrepreneur. I'll just focus on the possibilities of an employee within an organization. Here's the business challenge. Your organization wants to digitally transform itself while using AI to its benefit. There are many roles to think about here. Leaders need to understand AI's capabilities so they can set a vision and guide the organization towards the, that vision using the right business models based on customer needs. But they also have to consider AI in the context of many other technologies like IOTs, drone, cybersecurity, blockchain, and many others. 
to position their company in a competitive spot. I call this the super convergence of technologies. Strategists have to take the leader's vision and figure out what choices they have to make to make that vision a reality. Maybe it's about building in-house capabilities, or maybe it's about leveraging the cloud and other services, including AI, or maybe it's a hybrid model. And there are many other choices too, some related to AI and some not. Business architects have to consider the capabilities, the value stream, the processes that have to be prioritized for an AI-based transformation. They need to know how AI works at a conceptual level and what possible technologies within the large domain of AI have to be considered. It could be chatbots or intelligent document processing or computer vision systems. User experience designers need to think about the customer experiences when using AI. For example, how do you help build trust in the AI system? That's well beyond the interactions. Technical architects need to consider existing applications, data that they might want to use, system integration. How do you bring the data together to build, train, and test machine learning systems? Program or project managers need to understand how to scale the small proof of concept implementations and make sure that the AI paradox does not come true in your company. Managing AI projects has an additional set of concerns on top of the normal project management methodologies. Software development managers need to understand extensions to the software development lifecycle and how machine learning systems can be developed and deployed more effectively. There's a discipline called MLOps that's gaining traction here. Data engineers need to figure out how to organize the data so it becomes easier for the data scientists to experiment with and build models. Data scientists need to use data to build the models, reliable ones, and you don't want them spending most of their time looking for data, which is why you need the role of the data engineer. A majority of courses offered in the AI space is in this data science or machine learning space. Machine learning engineers need to understand infrastructure and deployment options. They include things like on-premise deployment or cloud deployments, how to scale and what's the infrastructure. Managers typically manage people and they need to build strong, cohesive teams. They need to help employees develop a growth mindset to learn and adapt to the new normal. They need to provide the environment for continuous learning and and to optimize the work. Finally, I'll define another role that I find myself playing, and that's the role that I call AI architect. In this role, I bridge the gap between technology and business and essentially help the organization transform using AI. I often play multiple roles within this, including being a trusted uh, leadership advisor, clarify and communicate strategy, architect the systems around software, algorithms, data, infrastructure, guide digital transformations, help data scientists understand the business needs, and is the go-to person often for AI-related questions. A kind of a little bit of everything, but also have deep focus in one or two areas. There are a few more roles that I probably missed out here. If you know of any roles in your organization, please let us know in the comment section below. It'll be useful for all of us. As you see, there are a wide range of opportunities for learning and using AI skills. Not everybody needs to learn how to write Python code and deploy machine learning models on the cloud. There'll be a lot of competition in the red ocean. And in the future, machines might even do most of that work. Check out what AutoML can do today. It just runs through a bunch of models to figure out which ones of those models are best for a given data set. On the other hand, there's a big scarcity for people in the blue ocean space, people with business and AI skills who can understand customer needs and communicate them effectively to the implementers to drive digital transformations. You can position yourself in any one of these roles or even roles that I have not talked about here. The key is to use your experience, your education, your knowledge, your passion, 
and your strengths to determine your own competitive advantage and value to the organization. So before you jump in to the AI and data science bandwagon and take some random courses to improve your skills, think about your personal brand and your goals. Most importantly, don't judge your success based on somebody else's metric. Do what makes you valuable and happy. Build on your foundation. If you enjoyed watching this video, please think about subscribing. You can download a free one-page visual summary of this video by signing up for my mailing list. For those of you who are already on my mailing list, don't worry, you'll get one pager in your email soon. Thank you deeply for spending some virtual time with me and giving me the motivation to do what I do. Thanks.